Hi, here's another tip for you. It's using the Harmony Echo feature, but we can use it for different voices and it will give us different effects. Now, um, this effect will work on all terraces, one, two, three, four, and five. And it works in a way that when you're playing a left-hand chord, the Harmony Echo enhances your melody sound. Now I'm going to use a banjo effect. So if we go to the guitar section, on this one it's acoustic guitars on the five, but you'll have a guitar section on all models. We'll go to page three on this model and pick the banjo. Now when I choose that, um, the Harmony Echo feature can come on and that will give me um, the effect of me playing um, like I'm strumming the banjo. So here's it without the Harmony effect. But if I press direct access and go to Harmony Echo, I can select the tremolo effect. Now the tremolo effect will mean that I can change, um, have it as like a strumming effect. So when I turn it on now, it's actually repeating. And I can change the speed it's repeating. Let's have it on 16. There we go. And I can decide how loud that repeat is. Put it on full. So now when I play, and we get just the same effect that the banjo player might have when he's playing. There you go. I'll put some other effects on to show you now. If we go to the, um, let's just go into another voice. We'll go into the, the Glenn Miller sound we might want to produce. So we've got our clarinets, and we'll go into the um, woodwind section. Let's find a clarinet here. We'll go into our, um, we'll go into one of our orchestral clarinets. There we go, and there it is. Now, if I was to use my clarinets in right one, I can assign into the right one an effect that's going to make it sound much fuller. So, direct access, harmony echo, and I'm going to go down this time to four-way closed okay four-way closed on the screen you'll see that now what that's going to do is going to give me a big chord sound using the chord that I played with my left hand it will just know which notes to play and it will play them around my melody so here's have a try add a saxophone into the equation so we'll add the next section along and we'll bring our saxophone in so let's go to one of our saxophone sections let's go to um, section of saxophones there we go and now I've got my um, sounds coming through now the saxophones are coming through one note at a time but the clarinets are going to come through with that chordal effect but I can change this to multi if you look on the screen we can assign this to multi and that now means that when I play a chord in the same way as I did before so I'm getting that full sound coming through to the saxophone and to the clarinet so all I've done is I've decided to change it from auto where it guesses which voice I want to put into the effect Multi will work on all voices, or you might find one, two, or three. You can just allocate it to one of your voices. And that's a great way to change the sound and get a much fuller effect. There's one to try. Thanks very much.